laws. Okay. In the state of Nevada, in order to ride a bike at night, you have to have a light, a white light on the front, and a red light on the back, coupled with a reflector. You have to have a reflector on the back. And that is because when you're riding and your headlight dies, you can see that. But when your tail light dies, you can't see it. So they require a reflector so that you at least have something. You don't have to have a reflector on the front. Doesn't do much for those pulling out anyway, so no big deal. But you do have to have one on the back. They also require reflectors to go sideways. So reflective tape on your frame, reflectors in your spokes, or lights in your spokes, something like that. That's required as well. It smells like smoke, like fire smoke. Now, what about reflective stuff on your person or whoop, or lights on the person? That is not a requirement. It is a good idea, but if you do put lights on oh look a bunny hi bunny if you do put lights on you you cannot use those lights as a replacement for lights on your bike It really is not the same thing. Because the other day I saw a lady riding. She had a red light on the back of her helmet, and a white light on the front of it. And As she did, as she was riding, every time she turned her head, she disappeared. You couldn't see her. If you put a light on someone's chest, every time they put their arms down, you won't be able to see them. This is a steep hill. On the back, you can see it when someone sits up, but if they lean down for any reason, they disappear. So you have to be very considerate of things like that. Your dogs need to be on a leash.
It is in the 90s right now. It's not even 8 o'clock in the morning yet. So, why red in the back and not white? Unless someone's being dumb, every car you see has red lights in the back, white ones in the front. That's the Nevada law as well. So people understand when they see red lights, they're approaching the rear of the vehicle and when they see white lights they're approaching the front if you go and put a white light on your back or a red light on the front you're sending the wrong signal and that's wrong people won't understand that so it can lead to problems someone pulling out could look to the left real quick and see a red light and think oh that guy's going the other way I'll ignore it and then pull right out in front of you. So, you have to follow that rule because it helps communicate to other drivers what's going on. And that's important. Being visible and communicate in good communication is important. All right, that's all I have for today. So I'll be seeing you on your left and click those buttons. Ciao.